Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Big Mac Davis here, and this is my Doom 2 100% walkthrough for the PC. Played through Z Doom on the Ultra Violence difficulty. This is Map 12 The Factory. Alright, so we start in this large open area, and there's a lot of exploring to do. Let's grab this shotgun and then locate this spire right next to where we start. There are a lot of shotgunners in here, and we'll kill them all as we navigate up these platforms. Now trying to navigate your way up to the very top using these platforms can be rather tricky to do, but with enough practice, you should be able to do it. Now right behind this spire is this silver lift that we want to ride to the top. And sometimes an Arachnotron will make his way over to this upper ledge. So if you see him, kill him. So yeah, ride this lift up, with the BFG ready. Now run to the other side of this room, and don't be alarmed by the number of imps here. Just fire two shots. And two BFG blasts should be enough to take care of most everybody, and any stragglers can then be killed with the super shotgun. Okay, so find this door on the opposite side and go through it. Now on this upper ledge, around the perimeter, we killed this arachnotron from earlier. Now we gotta hunt down and kill four more arachnotrons on this upper ledge. You can use rockets, you can use the super shotgun, you can try to lure the arachnotrons over to your corner of the building and then fire at them from there. Whatever way works for you, do it. And that's all four of them dead. Now find this door on this wall. It's the only door like it, so once you find it, you found it. Go through it and then fire a shot in this room. This is what I do. I let the Cacodemon come to me and then kill him. There's no real solid way to get through this room unscathed. It's very difficult. But what I do is I peek inside this room and shoot the imps on the ground before I jump down there. I try and kill the majority of them. Then jump down and kill the remainder of the imps on the ground, if there are any. And then worry about the enemies on the upper ledge, including the Baron. Now if you're not confident in your ability with the super shotgun, and your ability to navigate tight areas, you can use the uh, plasma gun or the BFG, whatever works for you. Now find these stairs and go up them. Now this teleporter will come through later on. For right now, let's drop down and grab some shotgun shells. Now back up here, see this berserk pack right there? Run to it, and then stop on the platform, and then run to this ledge with the switch. These jumps are rather tricky to make. Now lower down this lift and ride the lift up, and then inch your way over to this secret area with the chain gun. And now we'll take the teleporter. But have your um, plasma gun ready. This next area is very dangerous. See, you're surrounded on all sides by imps. Even with the plasma gun, it's tricky to navigate. Press the switch, it will raise you up to a secret soul sphere. Now in this area, what we're going to do is drop down and locate this door in the wall. That door will take us out to the upper ledge, but we'll use this door for navigation purposes. Face the door and then turn left, and we'll explore this hallway right now. There's a mancubus on the left. There are also two hallways, one to the right, one to the left. We'll take the one on the right. We'll kill this arachnotron. And then we'll just take his blue key. And now we'll explore the left hallway. Around the left corner, there's a big cluster of mancubi. Usually one to two BFG blasts takes care of most everybody. And then with any stragglers, just use the super shotgun. Now 
Now, to the right of the cluster of mancubi is this island with the door. Behind the door, you'll find the yellow key. And we are done with this mancubi hallway, so let's go back to the door and then face it. Now, to the right of the door is this hallway that we want to go down next. There are a lot of lost souls here. There's also a berserk pack. I'm going to save the berserk pack for later use in case I need the berserk for the health. You be wise to save it too. We'll go back, we'll face the door, and then turn right again. There's the hallway, but to the right of the hallway is this unmarked door. It's the only unmarked door in this area, so it's easy to find. We'll have to navigate through this crap and find this ledge. Now, once you walk up on that ledge, a mancubus will lower. I recommend using the chain gun while backing up and going on this higher ledge and shooting him from this higher ledge. But sometimes it doesn't always work. Sometimes the chain gun doesn't stun him enough to where he won't fire. And if you have to, use the BFG, use the plasma gun, use whichever you want. Now this switch will reopen the door so you can escape from this room. Now when you exit, right across from this exit is this blue door that we'll go through next. Now in this lava, just follow the light tiles on the ceiling and you'll never go wrong. Just like in Episode 2, Mission 2 of Ultimate Doom. Now when you step up on this platform and press the switch, three cacodemons will be revealed. Just use rockets on them. Now something weird, to the left of the cacodemons is this opening. You can grab a radiation suit, but it's not needed for anything. Oh well. Now press this switch, it will reopen this door so you can escape. Now right across from this island here is this new opening that just opened up. So this area is very, very dark. It's very hard to see the enemies. So use the, like the chain gun bullet light, I guess that's what you call it, that comes from your chain gun to see. There's a BFG inside this room, which makes it worthwhile to come in here. Just be careful of all of the enemies. And everybody's dead, so let's go out. Now, when you exit, right across from this exit is this blue door. The final blue door we'll go through. Now, in this area, what I do is I just run forward quickly. You don't want to halt. Get on this platform, because not only will you miss this um, energy cell pack that I'm on, but you'll also fall down below to this large number of shotgunners, and that's never a good thing. So there's two reasons why you want to run fast. To the left of this teleporter is a switch. Don't forget to flip it. And then we'll take the teleporter. Just be very quick. Turn around quickly and blast this mancubus. This guy is in a problematic position because you spawn from the teleporter not facing him. If you have to jump off and fight him, go ahead and do that, and then just backtrack your way back up here. But coming here, there is a reason why you want to fall down to this ledge that has some bullets and a secret. Well, I didn't need the Berserk Pack, but you might have, so that's why we saved it. We'll go back and we'll find that blue door that we went through, and then we'll just go through it again and retake the teleporter. Now back up here, we want to jump off onto the, onto the upper ledge and find this door with the one skull on it. There's only one door like it, so go through it. This is the yellow door. Behind it is one of the worst rooms in Doom 2. I kid you not. It has a lot of cacodemons, all stuffed inside of these raising and lowering pillars. <clears throat> For reasons why it did this, I don't know, but what you want to do is try to find a cluster of two or three of them, and then just fire the BFG to try and kill them both. Once you've done that, you can just use the plasma gun, or continue using the BFG on everybody else. One rule to remember, 
always, always run. You don't want to be stationary. Cacodemons from behind will fire at you. Always be moving. This room is very dangerous. I'm surprised I didn't take this much damage. Now the door that we used to get here requires a red key, but there's no red key in this map, so that's weird. On the four corners of the raising and lowering um, pillars, you'll find switches. You want to flip all four of them. There's also one switch that's not um, in one of the corners. This is a very tedious task, and I really hate this room. I know I'm supposed to be sort of unbiased when I'm doing the walkthrough, but I just can't help but say this is a this is a bad design. On each of these platforms as well, you'll find some energy cells. Once you flip all five of the switches, the exit will be revealed. The Factory. There's not much to say about this map, in all honesty. I like part of this map, and I don't like part of this map. There are some good qualities to this map, and there are some bad qualities, which would make this map borderline average. This is an average map. There are some things I like about this map, though. I like the difficulty. I like the fact you have to be smart with your movement. You have to be smart around every corner. And you have to expect the unexpected, because if you don't, things are going to pop up in your face and you're going to die. I like that. What I don't like is, well, the ending, definitely, the ending room. I don't know what went wrong in that area. I understand they tried to make it a factory setting with raising and lowering pillars. I can see that. It, it, it's, it was, it's just shoddy. It's just, gosh, it's like it was just thrown together and called the factory. I, it, it, just, it just seemed to be half-assed in my opinion. Probably because they were rushing. I also don't like the fact that there's a lot of navigating to do in this map, and there's not enough gameplay to balance out that navigation. There's a lot of running around. You have to... Yeah, there's just not enough gameplay to fill in all that navigation. Anyway, enough of this map. It's average. Let's move on to downtown map 13 in the next video. Which is actually a very good map. I really like this map. But until next time, I'm Big Mac Davis. Take care, everybody.